Ang kutyo. Ang tunujurah pakah mentok ke jemlaka ni tiap peti sak menaka. Mun nang pra bitika chun te mitbi ka bi kedai luk ing seri nang ka mentok ka tang tong ni dau di puh dau mendang rat bab ni rup ni. Ang biah som rum lek dah teun dal dau mendang rat bab ni luk aim eun som luk athmut nang nang ka Lai tóp tân nâng rõ tầm nô đại xu Ông nhìn bếp bàn nằm lực nâng kìm bếp lục hơi Thà nì tệ vị thi nê ca xu đánh đáu nơi Tàm nì tệ vị thi tà lạ ca Cư trời tệ bà bà tử Tàm rà biếp Đại bàn thư vừa kà lòng bọn đi Rà hẹn nít thông đô kà Phương rừng xa mà rà đấy hay nâng Ở thầm mốt nâng ca xa đắp Hay nâng xa lòi tóp Tê nâng xa mô Hay ở nhìn bếp xa mô Chị thà thông ôi lục Sedap semuai ban hai celai top tenang hip jam banyak neng pinjling tenang kerapkan di semuai dari semua ban hai je biang lu tua tati bay wayan lay, rui ko ni je tu men celai top tenang semuai semuai terdaya ni neng suo lu je betol tiet yang tu ay pebeli neng ku ay open lay kat pebeli at bayau ayam resom dapat kita cun tu kromi tibi kapi kedai Lok Indri, nampai minangka, minangka mentol katang semua di dalam jepuh dalam dalam rot pak wini, sombjeng. Thank you, Mr. President. Good afternoon, Your Honours. Good afternoon, everyone in and around the courtroom. And again, good afternoon, sir. Now let's pick up where we left off, and I want to refer to your testimony of the 23rd of August, 2012. Khmer page 80, French 92 to 93, in English it's 89, and it would be uh, right above 15.19.04 on the clock. And your answer here, and you touched on this a little bit earlier uh, when you were being questioned by the Nunchia team, I saw foreigners. Chinese and Koreans who came to provide medical training at the hospital, and Mr. Tun Tun was very good at that. I saw him who gave training, and I still recognize him if he would be standing here today. He was of a medium build. He taught us about the scientific medical matters, and the Korean and Chinese also assisted us with the operation techniques. Now, from this answer, sir, it would appear that Mr. Tun Tun was, in fact, providing you with training. Is that correct? And when you say that he was very good at it, uh, can you please tell us whether he also explained as part of the training the importance of being a doctor and the importance of providing good medical treatment. And Well, did he explain to you that you should not be good doctors, that you should not be ethical? Was the medical training that you received in Phnom Penh 
under Mr. Tun Tun or the Korean or Chinese or others who are teaching you, did they teach you proper medical techniques, at least as far as you understood them to be? Now let's look at another portion of your testimony, same day, Khmer page 90 to 91, French 104, English page 101, and again this is right above 15.53.21. You tell us the following. Upon my return from Phnom Penh to my base, Sector 20, I went back to my own, my own office and I was in charge of training of other medical training and I was also in charge of the political training sessions for people at the base as well. And I also went to inspect other hospitals as well when time permitted. I would go to see if there was an outbreak of disease or epidemic diseases in other district hospitals. Let's focus on this answer of yours. Uh, aside from the medical training that you performed back at the base at Sector 20, could you please explain to us the political training that you were providing at these sessions to the people at the base? ក្នុងចំណុចនេះខ្ញុំឧស្សាហ៍បានទៅណែនាំបងប្អូនជាពលរដ្ឋយើងអស្ត្រក្រំពីរបៀបកាលនោះខ្ញុំយើងពីខា
All right. Now, uh, prior to 1975, were there proper hospitals in that area? All right. Now, I want to focus on another part of your testimony where you indicated about operations and experimentation. So let's focus on Khmer page 78 to 79, French page 91, English 90. Of English 87. This is again of the transcript of the 23rd of August. And I want some clarification here if you would provide it to us. You were asked, were there any medical operations, operation conducted on people as part of experiment? And your answer is, at the 17 April Hospital, or Cambodia Soviet Friendship Hospital, there were medical doctors who were from Sector 20. It was the largest hospital in the country back then. I did not witness any medical operation, but I did see this happening at the base, when people who were expected to be executed had to, had to go under medical operation as part of the experiment. They were operated on alive. And then later on you say, the truth is that I was also involved in this. And then you go on to say, and trainees would be asked to look at how the fingers would be cut and removed. So let's look at this, this part of your testimony. You did not see any medical experimentation in Phnom Penh, is that correct? In sector 20 is so where you were working. But then you go on to say, the truth is, I was all I was also involved in this. And so can you please explain to us to what extent you were involved in experimenting on live patients? All right, well, help us out a little bit, because earlier I pointed out to where you said that when you returned to the base, you began training, training people on medical techniques. 
You then go on on this part of your testimony where you say trainees, that is people that were being trained, were being asked to look at how the fingers were cut and removed. You say that you were involved in this. Now you're telling us you are merely observing at a hospital that you were not working. Can you please tell us honestly to what extent you yourself was involved in experimenting? ត្រង់ចំណុចនេះខ្ញុំនិយាយតាមលក្ខណៈពេទ្យខ្ញុំបានជួបនិងបានធ្វើពីពេលនោះគឺវាកាត់តាំង <coughs> ກັດກະດາຈັ່ງປະກາດຈັ່ງກະດາຫາວາກັດອັນຈັ່ງການນີ້ຄືຂ້ອຍບານຕົດປະນິດມັນຕຶມຕຶມນັ້ນ Alright, if you were there as a mere observer, can you please tell us who invited you to go there to observe these medical techniques, particularly when you were already a trained medic or a doctor with some 14 years of experience? ត្រឹងលោកមិនចាស់ស្នូគួយយល់បាននៅគាត់ថាខ្ញុំថាបាញ់បាញ់មិនថាបើសិនជាបុគ្គលណាដែលប៉ាក់សម្រាប់ឲ
because presumably that's the person that was ordering you to go there to make these observations and to train others. ແລະຫນັກຈັກສໍານູກູຍອດບານຖ້າຫນັກເຖີຕັ້ງອໍຮູ້ສັດກໍາມການກະຮົບຂອງຫນັກດັກນອມຫັ້ນເລີຍໂ
14.27.16, you were asked a question, and then this is your answer. At the time, I saw, at the time, I saw Comrade Paul Pot, and I saw Ms. Nunchia, Ms. Kusapon, and I am not sure whether or not I saw Mr. Ng Sari. This is what you said then. Now let's look at your testimony from yesterday. And you were initially asked by the prosecutor the following. Did you ever see Mr. Pol Pot, Inksiri, Nunchia, or Kyu Sampon when they were there? And this is on page 19 of yesterday's transcript. It would be right below 09.52.37. So did you ever see? This is the question being asked by the, the prosecutor yesterday. Your answer is, concerning those four people, I have, I have met them, but very briefly, when I was attending political training at Borikila. So based on the question, it would appear now you're saying that you met Mr. Ng Sari. Now let's look at, later on, right above 10.14.03 of yesterday's testimony on page 26 in English where the same prosecutor says, at our hearing last Thursday, you mentioned Yun Yat, Pol Pot, Nun Chia, Pon, and Hunim as being among the leaders who spoke or who delivered speeches at the political education sessions that you attended, and you said that with respect to Ink Sri, you weren't absolutely sure about him. Now, of course, in your previous answer, there's nothing about absolutely that was thrown in by the prosecutor. Let me ask you, before we go to what else you stated on this issue, as you sit here today, do you have an independent recollection of ever seeing Mr. Ng Sri over there during that political training? เรียนโซ่นโยบายเนี่ยเป็นหนุ่มตอนนั้นคือเข้มบานเคยแต่ก่อนบานเธอไอเต้ก็บานเธอเคยอย่างอะไร that your testimony today, that now you're certain. Before you weren't certain, you weren't absolutely certain, but now you're certain. Okay. Well, let's see what you've, what you've said when you were filling out these forms. And we'll start off with D22-3963. And this is part of your supplemental information to the document to uh, file with the Documentation Center of Cambodia. The Khmer page is 00. zero. Five seven three nine seven six to seven seven French zero zero seven eight six one eight five English zero zero seven five one eight six seven this is what you say, sir. I saw Mr. Pol Pot, Nun Chia, Mr. Q Sampon, and Ms. Ng Thirith there. Can you please point out to me, sir, where do you say that you saw Mr. Ng Sari there? Take your time. Point it out to me. Would it be fair to say, sir, 
Would it be fair to say, sir, that you didn't say anything? You don't mention Mr. Inkshiri there. ตรงนี้ខ្ញុំសូមបញ្ជាក់ថាធម្មតាទេការសួរចុះសួរឡើងអាចនឹងផនពាកផនអីខ្លះប៉ុន្តែខ្ញុំការនោះឃើញឃើ
résumé sur la base de ce qu'ils ont trouvé dans le formulaire qui a été déposé par la partie civile. Donc je crois que la défense devrait s'abstenir de doubler euh, ces citations qui, ne, à mon sens, ne servent à, à rien concernant le document D22-39-63-1. I'll be perfectly happy to move on, Your Honor, but the point that I'm trying to make is that others rely on this information. So if it's misinformation, then obviously the application will have misinformation as well, that is, the report on the civil party application. But I'll move on. Let's look at then D two three zero slash two slash four point two point two seven seven A and the Khmer number is zero zero five zero eight four two four to two six French. Zero zero eight two 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 seven zero to seven one English zero zero seven 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 six two five and here uh, you talk about in nineteen seventy five I worked as a Khmer medic I worked not studied, but I worked as a Khmer medic at the Russian hospital in Phnom Penh. Then it was quite both outside and inside the hospital. At the time, I was sent to undertake the Communist Party policy at Borikilai. I saw and recognized the person who instructed us for an hour. It was Pol Pot. It was followed by Nuchia. And then you mentioned also Kyu Som Pon. Nothing about the presence of Mr. Ing Sari, either as a trainer or being there. Do you see that, sir? ខ្ញុំជម្រាបប្រាប់ចំពោះអេងស្រីខ្ញុំក្រងដាក់បានឃើញក្នុងការចូលរឿងម្ភ្លេតមិនបានយុទេដូចនេះអ្នកម្ច
สมจักรโลกจักรสมนุบาสังจิลุงบานคืนจะให้ดาวบานบานยมสุวรรณจังโลกสมพิจารณาลังวิญสันธาทอมนาเทกาตเสดุมิมังธากรมธาลอยดอลเธอคืนลือสมัยเธอคืนไอ้กมินกาพิจังได้ลูกเทนลูกโดยใช้เข้มสมตัวสกอลทักยมจีนตะเซมูลหัตถานจังได้ปลุกการนักซาเจ้าซาลางมีมันโดยกาเคยในกาเซตัวพิมพ์พิมพ์นุเตอโลกจังสมอยู่ในโลกตัวตัวสกาตามปีนได้ชุมชาบานสาธิตมาตอนลอยตอมสมชื่อยำนางทาเปียนยาวิจารณ์ดูรู้มากมิสูรีซิโน่ première c'est c'est le ton qui est utilisé par l'avocat de la défense de Monsieur Insari c'est un ton que je pense peut même être entendu dans la salle d'audience qui est agressif et je pense que ce n'est pas convenable de utiliser un ton pareil pour essayer de déstabiliser une partie civile. La deuxième chose, c'est qu'à propos de cette formation médicale, j'ai déjà fait tout à l'heure une objection à ce propos-là parce que le témoin, euh, pardon, la partie civile avait été claire en disant. Je n'ai pas eu de formation médicale nécessairement formée avec un diplôme, etc. Mais j'ai eu des formations euh, sur le tas ou des formations informelles, etc. Je vois que l'avocat de la défense revient encore sur ce sujet. On a passé tout à l'heure une heure sur celui-ci. Euh, la partie civile a dit ce qu'elle avait à dire. Je ne crois pas qu'il faille encore revenir là-dessus en parlant de Boreikela. Voilà. voilà mes objections. Just very briefly, uh, Mr. President, the reason I came back to it is because he claimed amnesia as to why he wasn't able to remember Ing Sri all of a sudden. Uh, he does remember him, but in all the other opportunities he was given, he never mentions him. Because things, obviously, after 40 years, he can't remember every detail. And given that explanation, I wanted perhaps the gentleman to explain, maybe now that we've established that he had 14 years of medical training, why he said he had no, absolutely no background in medicine, not formal training, but no background. Was it because it was a lapse of memory? or was because the gentleman was simply not telling the truth when he was filling out his application. บาสกเรียมโตหนึ่งสมังเฮดในสเรียมโตระบอบนำนางทาปริญาเมียนบุลเฮดสัมโตรบสัตย์ไทยมาชลอยโตหนึ่งสมโนจงกรอยระบอบเมจบีกาปิกไดลูกเอียงสุริธิลูกเมจบีไอเป็นโตสมโนทำไมทำไมติดย
you told us, sir, that you were forced to marry and that then you got a divorce. May I ask when it was that you got the divorce? សំលើកឡើងវិបញ្ញាលេងដាស់ទំនៃមើលទៅតំណាងរបស់ខ្ញុំហាក់ដូចជាគ្មានតំណងពាក្យទេដូចនេះយើងនិយាយហាក់ដ
English 0751868 in French 0076-6187 it's on page 8 in the English version this is what you wrote when you were providing the information to DC CAM when you asked them to help you with your application to which you told us you were serious about. Upon returning to my village, the Anka was arranging my marriage with my current wife. Now, it would appear that when you wrote this out, it's 2010. Oh, I'm sorry, it says supplemental here. It might have been January 20, 29, 2012. So, were you being honest and truthful and accurate when you wrote out that it was the current wife that you had been forced to marry. In other words, you didn't get a divorce. Or at least you weren't aware that you had gotten a divorce when you wrote this thing out. No. គឺប្រព័ន្ធខ្ញុំដើមនោះគឺលែងដល់ឆ្នាំ <coughs> All right, so when you put down here, my current wife, that was a false statement. It certainly wasn't accurate. ຍໍຖ້າຊິຈໍາລາຍຄໍຂໍຄຽມຕໍາ <coughs> Uh, thank you. Now let's, I want to switch topics and this is my last topic and uh, I will go very gently on this but nonetheless I'm compelled to ask questions and this is in regards to your father. You state in D22-3963, and it's Khmer page 00573974-75, French 00786171. English 00751866. You say that in 1974, my father, Uksam Eun, was arrested by Sao Pim, chief of the East Zone, under the pretext of being called for a study. Since then, he has disappeared. At the time, he was the Sector 20 Committee. He was on the Sector 20 Committee. Only up to 1975 did I know that he had been taken to be killed when he was invited for the study. And then you mentioned others who were present who were also taken but survived and you named them uh, Mao Chiang, Mr. Sim Ka, and then Mr. Kiev Saron and others. So the year that you put down here is 1974. Now if we could go to document 
Open that the letter I can say. D two two slash three nine six three at Khmer zero zero five seven three nine eight six to eight seven. French 0078-6192-93 English 0075-1872 And this is supplemental information that was added. You state approximately in early 1977 my father was summoned by the Anka to undertake study at the center, the parentheses, Sopim was the man who summoned him in the parentheses, and he has disappeared since then. Do you see the difference between 74 and 77. Do you see the difference, sir? <coughs> ตอนนี้ได้ខ្ញុំនិយាយថាដល់ខ្ញុំផ្ដល់ព័ត៌មានឲ្យឲ្យខាងខាងដាក់ជួយ <coughs> គឺចិត្តអំពិលគឺអ្នកជំនួយហើយដល់ខ្ញុំបានពិនិត្យវាអាចដល់មកយ៉ាងសំទោសដោយសារការកាបហេះបាទប៉ុណ្ណោះជារ
English 00751866, where you say, the first document where you say 1974, you wrote that out. That was in your handwriting. Is that correct? សមជ្ឈាហើយក៏មកបាក់ដេកដល់ទីថាការសេរកំណត់ថ្ងៃខែនេះប្រហែលមិនប្រហែលគឺពិតជាមានខុសត្រូវខ្លះគ្រោះថ